Hi everybody, good morning. <coughs> I'm doing a um, quick walkthrough for the keycard. The keycard, uh, the first keycard was released in uh, day one. Uh, where is that day one? Day one. You know it, it released in day one because always when if, uh, if, uh, if there is a day, check the last task. It said what is, <coughs> what what's with all this GitHub repo? Because if, when there is this type of hint, it means the key card in this day. If it say for example, uh, check another try hack me room or something, so it money is not for today. So this it give you the hint that the card is for today. Now it's talking about the repo. The repo is what we have here in this room, for example. They tell us uh, this is the try hack me the issue, this is the search. Uh, all this repo. If you go to this repo, these two main ones, this one and the this user. Uh, one uh, mm where we'll try hack me and you see there's has two repository mm uh, that not interested us for us and then there's another repo is uh, the powershell script uh, it's not also interested for us so this user for us is not uh, the key but this one user very interesting this one uh, the bloatware wall veer triac me this crypto search but this is c2 server this is interesting part this is where you see so the first thing you, you think about it is okay there is a, a secret that's very dangerous and then you have here and say uh, admin and secure password now the first thing you do because this uh, this this year is not like the last year you're looking for things so it's more like a, a mini a mini uh, a try hack me uh, uh, so it is, uh, you can see it's a port 8000, it's open already, so you can go, let's see if it's what's in 80. In 80 is what we did in the room, if you did the, the task 1, and then you can see there's an 8000 here. And if you do this, uh, compared with this, uh, with, with this C2, you can see it's 8000. So we can see pretty serious. So the first thing you think, okay, I can just do admin and secure password. Of course, if you do admin and uh, secure secure password, uh, what's a freezing now? It, it doesn't work. So we're not, uh, invalid credentials. So it's not that but if you read this script it's uh, the, the issue of the script is just checking the session if login in is not session redirect to login and otherwise you go to data point so we know there is a data point of course we can't access the data point here uh, it is not there uh, so we have a data point is logout and then this is the main eight, uh, port 8000 so this this is not secure code so if we can get a session we can just uh, uh, bypass it so we only you just check session here it's like a def login a username password and then you create session and then here uh, where is that session thanks if logged in is not session so it's only looking for log in in the session so that's this is not secure code so you might think okay let's copy it and test it in our system so you think okay what we can do with this if you just think uh, slowly so I can just leave that there I think I just add v p p y I can just say let me run, run it locally so if I can just copy it here and I just say python 3.9 my P on PY he said to me uh, is running port 8000 so I can go my local host this is my local machine so the IP for the attack box if you are there why having this first of all let's be clear on this uh, if we go here already did something uh, let me do the in. Uh, let me move so you can see what's going on first. Uh, let me move this before. So if you start the script only and you go this, I'm not supposed to do that. Uh, he's doing the cache. Uh, 
for, for it, why is working? Let's do this. It, it's still remembering. Let's cancel it. Start it again. He said internal server error. Either server load or either server error in an application. A reason why? Because the code will need to look for dashboard and then uh, dashboard.html you look for dash data.html and you look for login.html now we need to give him that so that's why let me put this back because this is a type of uh, what do you call this one it's a flask oh no a flask so you need to create a folder called templates so if i go now cd to templates is we put them. This is just a normal thing. So just, just like a, just username, password, a normal HTML get generated data. Uh, no, sorry. Vim data, same things. Just uh, a, a normal HTML files uh, dashboard. Just a normal HTML to make it work. So if I go now there, now we have this. So I know the script now for this script it tell me that uh, I already have admin and secure password. In my little things here I can just say admin secure password and then I'm saying I'm gonna test it now because remember the script we said he just check the session here, he doesn't do a proper check-in. So we can just go inspect I can go to storage and I just copy this session and then I can come here inspect remember is we're more testing by the data part not the login part the data part is the one the dashboard and the log and the data the only checking the session logged in in session that's what is is the checking is not checking full check so that's why we can bypass it so if I go there and plus and just click session and I just put value there. We don't pass this. Then we go to the, 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 the data point. And then we have our cards. So you can just put an image. And then you have the, the, your T1 card. Now you can see the name is there. So you have the T1. That's the password. Now let's remove this. So we can test something more a bit... Uh, uh, let's remove this one. So if I remove it now, I'm out. Now one way to do this, <coughs> because this is a flask, so flask you can do the uh, insign. Insign it means this one. You can do flask unsign generate the cookie. I don't need to do that. Okay, because I'm in uh, this new flask insign here. Flask, uh, flask. Flash, flask, I don't know what is flask is inside. For, to, for not having problem with Python, it's better to do uh, uh, Python, uh, do uh, uh, environmental variable. Uh, my, let's call it my environment. Was that uh, uh, I forgot about Python create um, virtual environment? How come I forgot the command? The environment. Oh. It's 
V environment. No, because the uh, reason is too much, it is based on too many things in the uh, attack box, so uh, I don't want to uh, uh, binary activate. And then you can just say pipe 3 install uh, flask uh, and sign. Uh, the command, uh, my flask is already installed in my computer, so attack box doesn't have it. No, why it doesn't have? It's supposed to have. I remember we did room in Triacme about this. So if I go clear, remember the the session is, is the login in the same as the what is trying to check here. Uh, why is that login in? Uh, it's a normal pattern of the session and we have the key. The key is the, the one that we get from... Uh, uh, where is the key? That's the key. So if I can do this, I can get the session. So I can just copy the session. This is another way to do it. So I can come back to my... Uh, remember this one. I can just say cookie, uh, add another session session and I just say value and then if I go to data now I should be able to see it they are the same cards so yeah this is guys the the first key card uh, for day one thank you for watching and hope you like it and have a good day